Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. In today's video we're going to be talking about a special type of evolution that is known as adaptive radiation. Adaptive radiation has two particular things that distinguish it. The first is the fact that it is a type of evolution that happens quite rapidly. So it is a rapid evolution. A rapid evolution of what? Well, of a lot of diversity. So adaptive radiation is the rapid evolution of diversely adapted species from a common ancestor when at least one of three things is occurring. That is, whenever there are suddenly new resources available in the environment, or when in a given environment suddenly new challenges to survival are presented that allow new traits to be selected for. Also, the opening of new environmental niches. So this would be when suddenly there are either new habitats or new subhabitats or new microenvironments within a larger environment that are suddenly available for species to move into. Now, adaptive radiation may follow a few different types of events. One is mass extinctions. For example, the fossil record indicates that there was a significant adaptive radiation, so a rapid evolution of diverse species following the mass extinction of the dinosaurs. And in particular, those species that were rapidly evolving were mammals. And so with the elimination of the dinosaurs, with their disappearance from the earth, they're no longer inhabiting specific niches, using up resources, uh, acting as predators, etc. That allowed mammals to really burst onto the scene. And that idea of bursting onto the scene is something that we see with adaptive radiation because it is so rapid and because there are so many species that result in a fairly short amount of time. Another way that adaptive radiation may occur is the evolution of novel characteristics. For example, once mammals developed a fourth cusp in their molars, this allowed mammals to suddenly be able to eat food sources that they previously were not able to chew up. And so with the evolution of that new characteristic in mammalian teeth, that allowed a lot of additional adaptive radiation, new species to form very quickly, etc. Uh, because that new characteristic essentially made new resources available. Another example of adaptive radiation is when it follows colonization of new habitats. This is when uh, a, a common ancestor makes it to a new habitat where there are new environmental niches and really does well with multiple species developing from that common ancestor in a short amount of time. The most well-known example of this is actually Charles Darwin's finches. The finches of the Galapagos Islands all descended from a common ancestor from the mainland that had somehow made it to these islands, and there were different islands, different food sources, different microenvironments within that larger island environment that different finches could inhabit and eventually lead to many different finch species, again, in a fairly short amount of time relative to the background speciation rate. So once again, the take-home point here with adaptive radiation, it's evolution of new species that is very, very rapid, resulting in many new species with quite a lot of diversity because of some of these changes that can occur in environments. So 
That is the end of talking today about adaptive radiation. Thank you for watching Biology Professor, and I hope you learned a lot.